It is cold out here tonight, let me tell you that, but I hope everyone is having a great day or great evening whenever or wherever you're watching from. Uh, I want to talk to you about getting the most amount of rewards utilizing your Helium Hotspot Miner, specifically what type of antenna you should be using. Now, quite frankly, I always tell people do not use the stock antenna. The stock antenna is probably below 3 dBi unless you are in an oversaturated area somewhere downtown. Um, hopefully on a high rise, it's, it's not going to be useful otherwise. I always recommend upgrading. Now, generally, I tell people to upgrade to an 8 dBi omnidirectional rack wireless antenna. That's my first thing I tell them. Second is put it as high up as possible in your house be it the second story window or the attic or the roof. And three, have the least amount of obstructions possible, which is why when I say the second floor, I say the window or I say the attic because the roof definitely has is less of an obstruction than the walls of your house. Or, of course, um, the roof itself, put it above that because then you have no obstructions and it's pretty damn high up. Okay, that being said, I wanted to do some tests and I'm doing them here on my porch, which has a beautiful view of downtown Denver. Now, let me be clear. I am in a unique situation. I am not the standard situation where you live on flat land and you want something as high up as possible and, you know, a lot of houses around you. Those are my houses that I have to work with. Those are my beacons. Those are my witnesses. To my north is a hill, to my east is a hill, and to my west are mountains. So for me, actually, a directional antenna might be better. And quite frankly, maybe you're in a situation where a directional antenna might be better too. We will get to that. But generally speaking, that's my recommendation. That said, I wanted to do a test with this. So to start the test, I chose three rack wireless gold spot miners and I connected antennas to them using a magnetic base. Now that magnetic base actually does subtract a few dBi or dBm rather, about 0.6. Um, something to think about as we crunch these numbers, but let's talk about the antennas. So this antenna here is from eBay. I'll put the information in the description. It is a 5.8 dBi antenna, or so they tell me. This one here is an 8 dBi antenna from Rack Wireless. Both the antennas I just said are omnidirectional. And this is a 10 dBi antenna from Rockland. Now keep in mind it's a 10 dBi antenna. Generally speaking, the maximum, according to Helium, needs to be a 9 dBi antenna. But, uh, well, we'll talk about that in a second. Also consider the fact that there is 0.6 taken off of it. So it's getting closer to nine. Now, according to Helium, uh, these are all 8 dBi antennas. That's what I've listed them as. Um, also, according to Helium, uh, these are all relayed. They're actually connected to the same Wi-Fi connection in my house. And last of all, uh, all of these antennas are are not located here in this hex. Um, they are about 1.5 kilometers off. Uh, yes, then therefore they are spoofed. But in order to do tests like this, I do spoof. So I apologize to many of you who are not happy with that. But if you wanna see videos like this with me doing tests like it, that's what's required. Now, all of that being said, let's take a look at the rewards for the last three days. I've had them out here for about three days, and so we can look at their numbers and figure out which one is doing the best. Okay, so now that I'm inside, let's take a look at some of these numbers. And please keep in mind that all of these, like I said, are Rack Wireless Helium Hotspot Miners, and they're all listed uh, as having an 8 dBi antenna attached. They also all have a transmit scale of 1 and are synced and relayed. Now, the rolling earnings of the one on the left start at 0.245 at this very moment, the middle 0.363, and the one on the right 0.389. The average rolling earnings uh, for the last three days, starting at the left, was 0.18, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 0.19, 
then the next day 0.17, and then the next day 0.25. The middle, 0.27, then went to 0.22, and then ended in 0.36. The one on the right, 0.33, then went to 0.27, and then ended with a 0.39, or as you see at the top, 0.389, as it were. But point being is, what you're seeing is an average consistency. Uh, they all went down a little the second day and then up on the third day. So today's been a really good day for them. But that all being said, the one in the far right is obviously making the most amount of money. All right. Well, that being said, the one on the left is the 5.8 dBi antenna. The one in the middle is a 10 dBi antenna, and the one on the far right is the 8 dBi antenna from Rock Wireless. Keep in mind that it only won by a difference of 0.03 to 0.06, but it still won. Now, I won't argue about why it won. You have the numbers in front of you, so we won't go into detail about that, but I do want to show you one other piece of information. So this is a Synchrobit Helium Hotspot Miner that I have in my backyard, which is also using an ATBI antenna on a magnetic base. It is currently getting 0.12. In the following three days, it started out at 0.16, then went to 0.15, and then went to 0.12. If I did a comparison with the 5.8 dBi antenna, you can see it was getting 0.18, then 0.17, and then went to 0.25. So I have to wonder why one went to 0.25 while the other went to 0.12. If you have any idea about why you think the synchro bit is making, generally speaking, less rewards, I'd love to know in your comments. Certainly it has less of the city to view in the backyard. However, when tested against other helium hotspots in the backyard that were rack wireless, they generally produced 0.1 greater. But Oftentimes, those numbers would go up when the numbers for the synchro bit would go down, and vice versa. Okay, so before we end here, I do need to talk about one more antenna, and that is the 9 dBi directional antenna that is in my attic. That flat panel antenna does pretty well getting 0.165 compared to the others. It also, as you can see, has way more beacons on average. Now this antenna is not relayed. It has a transmit scale that is much lower, 0.71 as opposed to a 1. It has for some reason been syncing for two weeks and I can't explain that. It's connected to the internet via Ethernet. It's using uh, power over Ethernet. And it is also listed on Helium as an 8 dBi antenna, not a 9 dBi antenna. Now I'm sure many of you would love for me to do a test between the 9 dBi directional antenna and the 8 dBi omnidirectional. I've had them in the past both in the attic together and the results usually were fairly comparable actually. Uh, really depended on the day of the test. Sometimes one would do better than the other. But since POC V11, I've noticed that the 9 dBi directional antenna seems to do way better than an 8 dBi omnidirectional. I've seen other people state that this is because the signal to noise ratio, that because we're pointed at one specific location, the signal to noise ratio is way better than something that is hearing information coming from all directions. And while that may be accurate, I have not really done tests for it. So if you're interested in seeing tests like that, please let me know, add it to the comments, and also, of course, like and subscribe if you want information like that. But more importantly to me was the difference between the 5.8 antenna and the 8 antenna. Many people often said that the 5.8 would do better when higher up because of the angle of the signal and I just haven't seen that to be true so I'm going to leave it at that. If you think it is, again, I would love to hear more information from you in the comments so please feel free to. Alright, well that's it for me. Thanks for watching everybody and happy mining.